I'm not sure myself how much I want to do this. Frankly, it's something I've been wanting to do for quite some time now, because, let's be fair, uh, writing is about the only marketable skill I have, and uh, for the first time in quite a while, we are faced with a game that is nothing but bad writing, and all the faults and various problems with the game come down to sad bad writing. So it will be something I would check. would be interested in tackling and uh, thank you thank you Thomas for wishing me good luck my first comment on YouTube mention with something else what no no don't click the key what, what is going on Okay, I barely launched the game and something broke already. And I'm having to restart it. That's me. That's something I don't see every day. Don't click the key. What, what is going on? I'm not sure I want to play the game myself, but let's get through it once more time. So, one thing to look forward to. Apparently, the soundtrack is actually pretty good. Okay. Oh, KL. I, okay. Keyboard Dual Shock 4. I have a keyboard right now. I have a PS4 controller, but uh, I don't actually have a USB cable. Right now. All right. So from the first screen, we see that it is very, very inspired by Earthbound. Something I am not looking forward to. Oh, I bet it will be wonderful. All right. I'm not a big fan why 2k oh you're so fucking smart haha <laughs> self fighting yeah sure again even the intro screen is almost straight from earthbound like what's your the hell can happen? Let's see. Okay. Doesn't look like an ice cream. Uh, I don't like the quirky 90s aesthetic as much as many people do. I don't mind it on principle, it's just I never grew up with Westbound, I grew up with Final Fantasy and other JRPGs when it came to JRPGs naturally. Yeah, I'll just end my own name because who the fuck cares? Again, this is going to be some mind-blowing revelation later that I already got spoiled for me, but we'll keep that in mind. Yep. Uh, it's alright. Fuck okay. off. Uh, that's not a name my parents came up with.
What do you look like? No, no, pick your gender. No, what do you look like? Uh -huh. Trying to be inclusive. The game. Uh, uh, you'll see why all this uh, progressive uh, nonsense is going to be made entirely uh, empty, rendered entirely empty in just under an hour, I suppose. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Frenchie. So, hi Frenchie, you're in this game now. I am so sorry. I know it's not your name, but I can't remember your name yet. I, I have a really terrible... Terrible way Friend is smarter than me. Hmm. Let's see. That would be... Define smart. What do you mean smarter? Alright. Let's just... To Alexander. He's not that smart, but I mean, it's not an all against him. He is smart, I just. We're about equal. Yeah. Ah, that would be Sweater. That Sweater is the crazy roommate I have. Again, all of those ripped straight from Earthbound, those super personal questions that uh, become important later as we play the game. That would be definitely Yuki. It's one of the train fuckers I hang out with lately. Train fuckers are fun, though I'm not that big of a fan of trains myself. Yeah. By the way, uh, how's the volume? Am I not? Am I? Can you hear me over the game? Jesus, that's me. I'm that kind of friend. Oh my god. I had to be that friend for myself. I'll just... This I don't know... It will be Dia because... Sorry Dia, I had to name someone. Feel a connection to my hmm, 3DS. How does that for matter? So this game takes place in the 90s, so that you know it's quirky. Jeez. Ah, confession, I actually like the art style. 
I didn't at first, but as I watched uh, a few videos about it, it kind of grew on me. There, there is a certain appeal. Can't deny that. I have no idea what's going on with the frame rate and why is it slugging so much. This game is like it shouldn't be that resource intensive, but ah, look at it. It's mostly flat textures and low poly. On April fourth, nineteen ninety-nine, I arrived home from school. I just graduated. He is voiced by uh, Kerbifer. If you are not aware, Kerbifer is one of the most prolific uh, internet voice actors who did some famous or rather infamous animations back in the day, New Grounds days. And I am mildly a fan actually, I like Kerbifer. But apparently he is not very good in this. At least not too good. It took a few semesters longer than I originally planned, but I was proud to be done. I had no idea what adult life held for me, but I was optimistic. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, a big correction that a lot of people uh, don't know actually about the game. Uh, it is not actually meant to... You're not meant to like Alex. Alex is a bad person, and uh, this game is in he is not an author of self-insert, he is straight up a bad person, and the game is meant to be a reflection on that. Uh, it's a character study akin to Scott Pilgrim, the comic, not the god-awful movie. And do uh, that's commendable, I guess. Kudos for trying, but it's not executed well. You will see. You will see. You're safe on the phone. You don't phone your dad like you do in Earthbound because, of course, dad issues. What do you have to say? I don't care. Can you mention can you mention a real town having this as a logo? As right, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I probably have dropped out accidentally because my connection is kind of choppy. <sighs> right, I am playing uh, the game with an optional. Combat rebalancing that supposedly makes uh, things go much smoother. We will see about that. We will see about that. Uh, because one of the biggest complaints about the game was just that the combat was unbearably slow. It wasn't particularly hard, just slow. So, we are given instructions to our houses in some top of the hill. Can we go into houses? We can't. Uh, again, humble beginnings. We are not meant to 
assume anything and uh, the big uh, contentious uh, plot device that completely uh, ruins the game will come in very soon but not yet Fat, fat, fat is a later slang. I don't think it was used in the nineties. Come on. Okay, so that's how we go to menu because that's obvious. F2. Jesus. If you don't know um, the main protagonist wields uh, vinyl records as a weapon. Because of, of course he does. And you know, this is dumb as shit on itself, but his first record is named he wants it that way, and all I can th think of is Christian. Though, you know, thank you, Y2K. Thank you for. For reminding me that Chris Chan is the same. Right. Um, what is assist mode? What the fuck is assist? Oh, okay. Okay, so that is our home, which means I need to explore the rest of the location first because I'm a little obsessive like that. Sorry if that annoys anyone. Nineteen ninety nine, come on. Internet wasn't that common of it in America. It was a slow start. The internet didn't start becoming big before the early 2000s. It was actually technically published in 2018, Alexander. It was just made in 2018. Is there a gun on the internet? Are you okay? Yeah, sure. meant as a jab at the people who kickstarted this bloody game? Is that what it is? Are you serious? Okay, how much money do I have then? I don't have money. Okay. Can I ride the bicycle? Now we're limited to this Run speed, so okay. Well, uh, as we've already seen, exploring proved fruitful, and we found a camo jacket and a milkshake. Very nice. Uh, again, as you can see, 
Game of Thrones going out of my way. Oh! Oh, now I can uh, afford it. Okay. I wish I had a map of this place. I know it's the all the 90s aesthetic and whatever. Jesus. Come on. Um, oh, so you are meant to get red pilled in this game. That was also spoiled for me. I don't know how ironic that is, I guess we'll see. Why would you take a slice of pizza from... Okay, herder, back in 90s, I think, okay. Hello, tits. Okay, good for you, miss. Jesus, this town is huge. Um, that guy stresses me out. And I guess I'm stressing him out too. So, it's, you know, good thing. He doesn't want me around. I, I got it. I'm exploring the location. Okay. You made a classical RPG. Intentionally. Intentional retro classic RPG. Don't railroad me. Come on. Thankfully, this game is only about 20 hours long. Although it does have a few different endings. We'll see if we have to get those separately, I guess. Jesus. And can I do anything about it? Nope. I, I first I thought it was like a trash bag, not a rock. Okay, okay, whatever. Okay, more random quirky stuff that I don't really give a shit about. Again, it's the earthbound aesthetic that the game really ties itself too hard to. I'm not even sure it's useful for it. Also, American currency makes no fucking sense in JRPGs. It's uncomfortable to keep track of. But that's absolutely just personal preference. Oh, hardy ha! Oh, how original! Oh, you're the first person to make the joke, Jesus. Ah uh, ha ha, a jab at how economy in the 90s was bad. See, the, again, this is uh, the problem with the game tying itself to the 90s. The 90s was very, very specific political time. And you're making references to it. And references like that, they tend to just make people uncomfortable. I know this is supposed to be a thinking man's game and all that, but come on. You mean it? Okay, here you go. Yeah. 
Yeah, seriously. <clears throat> Look, why am I even bothering to ask? <sighs> I feel this fox pit is going to get annoying real soon. Apparently, uh, the dungeons are pretty good. Forest stomp. <laughs> I mean, I don't disagree with any of them, so what do you want from me? Oh, okay, I'll talk with this guy before. They need a haircut. You look quirky and pointed it out. Yes. One time pointing it out was enough. I promise. Nope, no goodies here. Oh. Okay. Right, I think we've uh, thoroughly explored this little quaint town of Frankton, and we can go on with the story such as this. Yeah, I'm dreading the big thing that is going to come up in the very beginning, because it's a doozy. I hope you guys are watching because you are not going to like it. The money tree. What? Um, um, I don't know. Uh, okay. Like I get it that it's supposed to be a joke. It's just not really lengthening. Okay, okay. I won't just bitch. Dinosaur. Ooh, physics. Physics! Jeez, do you guys remember when physics in games just became a big thing? Yes! The one and only. Uh, I picked this game on purpose, because I'm an aspiring writing and all of these games many problems lie in writing. There are other problems, but writing is what I can comment on with any degree of, you know, actual... Well, you're getting something out of it. You're getting some actual commentary on, on why this shit is as bad as it is. Okay. Pogs! Remember Pogs? Remember Pogs? It was a thing in the 90s. Do you remember the 90s? Sink is safe. <sighs> right.
Yes, I'm the type of obnoxious gamer who does everything they can before continuing the story. Yep. Do you think I can afford anything better? Can I climb here? No, I can't. actually played a game in this sort of earthboundish style that I really liked, but I can't remember which one. Um, that doesn't look charming at all, just using stock photos. Then why are you... You know what? Why do I even keep asking questions? Oh, a big booby lady! I want to look at the booby lady! Let me look at the booby lady! Let me... Why won't you let me look at the booby lady? It's the least you could do. I have a boyfriend. If you understand this reference, I am so sorry. A copyright non infringing Game Boy. A copyright non infringing SNES and the PlayStation 1. That's. That's weird. Copyright is such a weird thing. I never know what. What you are allowed to show, what you aren't allowed to show. Right, we thoroughly explored everything we could. Hmm, let's get this over there. Dear son of mine, please see if you can muster up the energy to walk into town and pick up some groceries. I've included a list below. What's with the resecting? Not even home five minutes and she's already barking orders at me. Get ready for Alex monologuing every single goddamn minute. strangest I've ever received. And no, I couldn't hear the music. Nobody cares. Okay, which way is the east? Grocery is to the east. East is right. I remember that because um I am actually very bad with uh, 
north, east and shit like that. And I forced myself to remember it. Stupid little pointless factoid. Who the hell is that? A few hundred yards outside of town I came to a junction. Mulling over the strangeness of being back home, I stopped to notice a forest I'd never explored. It was dark, but somehow attractive. I made a mental note to explore it later, and took a step towards town when I heard a meow near my feet. I pictured what it would be like to be the owner I imagined describing it to a friend. Lonely? Nah, I don't get too lonely. Besides, my mom was only a cat. An old cat. What a good friend to talk to. My fictional friend would reply, you talk things over, do you? I nod. Uh-huh. Been together a long time, so we can read each other's moods. I understand what makes the cat tick. The cat knows what makes me tick. Of course, I didn't know this cat at all. Never met. He was a funny-looking cat. With a funny, resting face and a Salvador Dali mustache. I couldn't imagine picking out this cat to bring home from a store. I leaned down to pet him, without entirely knowing if cats like to be pet at all. His coarse hair ran through my fingers as he purred. Clearly he liked me. That was a good sign. I'm sorry? Alex Eagleston, college graduate, French- <laughs> Hey! Give them back to me! This is meant to be a horror game. Wait, 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 By the way. Oh, also, uh, the main character is meant to be obnoxious, but there is a point to him being obnoxious. You're not supposed to like him. He's supposed to be a bad person. Probably is. We are still forced to spend 20 hours with that obnoxious bullshit. 20 hours. Okay, so let's see the revamped combat. And look how quirky it is. We don't have any skills. We have the basic attack. Okay. An emoji. First. Money doesn't seem to be a problem in this game, which is fine by me. Confession, I never actually liked the combat in uh, Super Mario RPG that much. So this is not going to be all that enjoyable. Yes, it could be worse. I'm trying to... Okay, I don't seem to have any options as to where to go, so let's just go to the only location we can go to. And it's spooky! Again, uh, the art style by itself is not, you know, all that bad. Look, it's plenty colorful and has a certain character. Uh, I, I will tell you who this people are sometime later but I already spoiled that to myself and it's really stupid.
You can control the camera, but it's not obnoxious. It's perfectly fine. Oh, okay. That's mm, that's a normal mechanic. Don't mind too much, uh, especially since I'm playing from the keyboard and it's pretty easy to direct my character where I want him to go so okay I'm not mad on this let's see invisible walls that's part of the course Um, this is a case of personal preference, but I don't actually like when healing items are just food items that are named 20 different things and you can never remember which one recovers how much energy. Jumping through that abandoned building. Ooh, spooky ghost. <sighs> Here comes the bullshit people, steal yourself, those few that are watching because we are about to hit the big bullshit moment that will pretty much ruin the game for many. Not particularly looking forward to it myself, but yeah. This is an abandoned hotel, and uh, for those not in the know, heal thyself, physician, heal thyself. This is actually decently pretty. Again, I don't mind every aspect of this game. It's primarily the brighting that's my problem. Locked. I stepped into the elevator, expecting to find the cat. Oh my. I scanned the dark floor and found nothing. I sighed as the elevator began to shake, vibrating with motion. The elevator came to a smooth but unexpected stop. I cringed with anxiety as the lights flickered. I cringe with more than anxiety, but you do you. Please don't die. Please don't die. I pleaded with the mechanical gods to keep the power on. My prayers weren't answered. Damn it! The power's out. I need to find the stairs or a fuse box. Then why did you go into the building? Again, this is the game that is not grounded in reality. And that's okay, but the story expects you to treat it seriously.
Nets a rat. Oh shit! That's a rat. Now, all right. So your mini. Ah, okay, just again the music, really good for now. I really like that that specific battle theme. It's all right. Yeah, I feel like I need to heal. XP, XP. He's just like you in an alternate reality. Hard herder for shadowing. You know, remember when we used to make fun of this quirky writing style? Good times. Uh, that's good to hear. My primary use is as a barrier. I can block oncoming enemy attacks and create barriers. My metal shield makes me very heavy, so you can use me to hold down switches and to clear small gaps by stepping on my head. You can press circle to summon me. Circle. Remember to press circle again to call me back. Also remember that some weighted switches will have reverse. So press circle to summon you and I hope so, Alex. It's rather straightforward. However, since you were a liberal Lol. Oh, hey, Frenchie. I named the character after you. Hope you don't mind. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay. Um.
that's not going to become obnoxious or anything. Uh, save point. That's... Yeah, why not? Everything in this game takes so long. Okay, that's obviously a puzzle we need to solve. Fair enough. are not hard or anything. I guess that's fine. Hey, booby lady. That's not a smile. Okay. Bye, booby lady. I am uh, playing one of the best games of the year, you. Let's climb into the eye. I don't know what made me do it, but I poked the giant eye. Why would you do it? <laughs> the pyramid's tears seem to power the room. What the hell is going on here? Um, the pyramid tears are powering the room. Obviously. Okay, but what if there are secrets behind the pyramid? No secrets behind the pyramid? Hmm. I wanted secrets. Maybe here. No. I won't deny there is some inventive imagery. Well, here, here it comes, the fucking bullshit. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for the worst part of the game literally coming right at the start? Are you guys fucking ready? Because I'm not. Uh, 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 my head hurts. Hey, man. There is also no way to grind in this game, and as I was made to understand, that's intentional.
I'm finding so much shit. Do I have any new equipment? Nope. 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 That's a face. It's a skull. Hello, skull. So a harder enemy doesn't give any more experience. That's that's fair. Oh, okay, new equipment. Finally. Sergeant Salty. Har har. A grunge rap? Are you calling Sergeant Peppers bad? Are you calling Sergeant Peppers bad? I hope it's uh, I hope it's one of those commentary on how the protagonist is awful. Because Sergeant Pepper is awesome. Fuck you. Do I ever get to level two? Tiny mini games. Yeah, uh, are the controls all right? What? What's going on? No. Okay. Um, I seem to remember there being a water fountain. Yes, there is. Thankfully. I don't have to waste any of my items. I wonder how many items I'm going to have lying around not used at the end of the game. I don't know, cold is okay. Have you seen the heat? Heat is worse. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. That's the cutscene. I didn't explore everything I wanted to get. So I'm going back. Are oh, you shitting me? Can't even go back. Okay, okay. Fuck you, game. Yes, give me the shovel. Okay, fine. 
This, my friends, is a real life person who died under mysterious circumstances. This is a real life woman who died. Who's there? Dolly, is that you? Real life woman with a different name who died under pretty much the same circumstances, just without a supernatural twist. And the whole game is centered about that. This is the most respectful thing you could have done. Not. See, I can do the 90s too. Oh my god, I have oh, This is so stupid. Great, another person. Hey, I can leave if you like. No, please stay. I've been pretty lonely here. Where is here, anyway? I was hoping you'd know. I've been lost down here forever. Did you come through the elevator too? Elevator? I don't know what that is. Then, uh... I asked, thinking it sounded nicer than who the hell doesn't know what an elevator is? Yeah, dude, we got it. I came from here. Is there anywhere else? Anyway, I've been looking... So the stupid thing was a girl? I just assumed it was a boy cat, seeing as how it had a spindly mustache. Although, now that I reflected on it, facial hair was not exclusive to male animals or male humans for that matter. Oh, how progressive of you. How progressive of you to say that while literally standing on a corpse of a real life woman. Classy. Is that the cat who looks like Salvador Dali? <laughs> I don't know who that is. My cat just looks like Dali herself. Not another cat named Salvador. She didn't know elevators. I doubt if she'd know her 20th century Spanish Catalan surrealist painters all that well either. I said, right, I saw a cat earlier. He had a funny mustache and crazy eyes. Naturally, my description of her beloved feline was offensive to her. Clearly, this was a woman projecting a rather strong personality onto this cat. She took a deep breath and said quickly, my cat has a beautiful mustache and perfect eyes. I can't imagine we're talking about the same cat. I told her I wouldn't mind helping her find her cat. I told her we should move quickly and get out of this dank basement. I waited for a moment as she processed what I said. She was a very difficult girl to read, especially without being able to see her face. I could tell something was wrong. She really projected her opinions and feelings into the room. What's wrong? I don't have to help. I just thought you could use an extra pair of cat hunting eyes. It's not that. Hey, now, that's lame. You can tell me anything. No judgment here. No judgment? Great lie. I like a good liar. Hey, I'm serious. I, I didn't mean anything by that. It's not you. That wasn't fair of me. It's just... The world has used me so unkindly, I fear it's made me suspicious of everyone. Good writing. Okay. For now, I choose to trust you. But I reserve the right to decide you're just as evil as the rest of the world in the future. Sounds like a fair deal. My name is Alex. Nice to meet you. I'm Sammy. But please call me Sammy. I don't know why I'm trusting you. I guess I always had a special spot for gingers. Hey, careful with that word. That is our word. What do you mean, our word? You're weird, Alex. Sorry, lame joke. Let's just look for the cat. I really wish I could go back. Okay. The music feels so derivative, it's like I've heard it somewhere before. It's 
Jesus Christ, where am I now? Well, this is some kind of puzzle. I can't. Dolly, where have you been? I'm so happy to have you. Oh, I should probably tell you about Dolly. Dolly is a tool, much like your stuffed panda friend. Use Dolly to fetch items and hit switches that are too far away for you to reach. Dolly can jump, so don't worry about her falling down any gaps. This will be useful. Okay, so shall we get out of here? Sorry about my house. I've been meaning to get someone in here to fix the power, but who has the time for that? I get so busy that little things like that get away from me. But that's normal, isn't it? You get used to the flaws in your own. Like my mother used to have everyone take their shoes off in the kitchen. Who does that? Oh no, I've become my mother. Oh, one last thing I should warn you about. I've got a roommate. Okay. More puzzles? Oh, okay. I get it. I think. Yeah. This is not so that precise. <sighs> yep, it is Eli Eliza Lamb, the one and only. You see why people are ang angry with this game? I think I uh, know. I can't. I should do it.
we've only just started this is going to get much worse Dasha you have to relax Yeah, I'm sorry for the connection issue, but I have fixed it. We are going to get into the elevator. She's going to die. Honestly, I don't like the, their models so that much. I prefer the... Uh, what do you mean? What? You don't live in this shithole? That's not very nice. I never call your house a... rat hole because I have manners. Ever heard of them, Alex? Sorry. It's just not every day I meet a girl who lives in an old factory. I don't see it that way. It's a hotel. I almost feel as if the factory lives with me. As if the factory... The factory is part of you? Wow, you're almost as dumb as you look. Of course the factory isn't part of me, that's... Just... But do you actually live here? Yeah. Just me and Dolly. And Walter. But usually Dolly is better about keeping me company, you know? reflected on her words. You see, that's not a mysterious yeah. girl who lived with her cat in an old steel mill. It's a hotel. It was obvious to me that her words didn't contain the entire truth. Why are you calling it a factory? Something about her compelled me. Pieces of her story, well, at least that's what I thought at the time. I can admit now that some pieces were pure fabrication on my part. In my head, her story went something like this. Sammy was homeless. Wait. Wait. Wait a goddamn second. You're meant to tell me uh, this narration is meant to be set after the game? So, after he became a better character? Are you fucking serious? So he is this obnoxiously self-absorbed even after his character development? Come on! A runaway woman who was trying to escape hard times. Someone who had found refuge in her cat. Maybe the only thing left from her previous life. Somehow this felt right inside my head. And still, I could tell I was missing something. Her clothes were clean, her breath was fresh. She was much more energetic than any homeless girl I'd ever known. Not that I'd known many. The secret to what I was missing lay in her temperament. Is that your hobby? Is what my hobby? Staring off into space and screwing up your face as if to say, What's or going on is inside my head I is don't really get important, anything. So just let me think. Forget it. Let's uh, let's just go. Hey, I don't make that. <laughs> All right. Weird thing happens in an elevator, and an Asian woman dies. Hello, you. Bye bye, real person. Bye bye. I had known her for less than two hours when she vanished from my sight. That wasn't two hours, that was like 15 minutes. Sammy was gone for good, swept away as if she'd never been there at all. A door into nothing, into a different reality, opened up and swallowed Sammy whole. That moment I couldn't think. I couldn't breathe. All I could do was replay the scene of her being pulled into obscurity by nothing. There one second and gone the next. Okay. 
Good thing I didn't equip her with anything. By the way, I think I actually have some equipment now that I could use. Yep. Birch beer, that doesn't sound like it would taste well. By the way, can I hit the booby lady? No, I can hit the booby lady. Hello, booby lady! Bye, booby lady! No, oh, that seems important. that I have so much food already oh, 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 look doesn't matter Zena please I am very sorry for that that's what Bina does No, I can't go back in the store. Okay. Fuck you then. The calm night wind of springtime seemed to contrast the inner workings of my brain. I was moving on autopilot back towards my home. I felt as if I'd seen something that wasn't meant to be seen. Like I just felt. I couldn't yet put into words what I now understood. But something had changed inside of me. Will you Pulsing ever shut up? Oh, uh, okay, I can actually control him. Uh, yeah, mouth. I just remembered that monsters don't respawn here, so it's in my best interest to attack as many monsters as I see in order to get at least some XP. Will you shut up? I was a child finding a magazine meant only for an adult's eyes. Oh, God. Damn it, nobody I was both cares. intrigued and repulsed, confused by the images. Shut up, shut up, head. shut up. Shut, shut it up. Right, we still need to go to the grocery store. Do not think I have forgotten. Um, as far as I'm aware, those are the characters from the developer's previous game, which was a buggy and playable mess. What a surprise. But it says open. Pizza, pasta, put it in a box, deliver it to my house and put it on my... <clears throat> yeah, I have so many food items. Probably see.
Oh. That's... Oh. <laughs> That's kinda neat. An NPC that's only out at night. I like shit like that. Okay, how do I go out, 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 out? Okay. If you're wondering what's making that roaring sound, that's my fridge. My fridge is kind of insane. I don't know what's wrong with it. Oh, okay, heal thyself. We needed that. Um, I know this is more of a me problem, but I hate soft chats. I don't know, it's so cheesy. It's the essential 90s music style that sounds fucking awful. No? Uh, the problem with this game is that it seems to have the menu from RPG Maker, so I expect RPG Maker controls, but it doesn't have RPG Maker controls, and that just makes me confused. Now look, I like a lot of uh, music from the 90s. I, I'm okay with grunge, I like 90s rap, I like ska, that's very 90s, I like, uh, I like pop punk, that also began in the 90s. I just don't like self jazz. It, it, it sounds weird. I don't like that saxophone sound. That's my problem. Like, I like saxophone on its own, just not when it's played in that way. Reflect. Are you... Oh, God, are you serious? Reflect. I'm going to reflect my balls. <sighs> Come on, Dasha. Come on. Let's reflect. What do you think? I the floor and made my way to the couch. My mother still wasn't home yet. I wasn't surprised. She often worked late right before her company. My mother, a 49 year old, short, red headed woman, was an information systems programmer analyst for Pacific Chime, the West Coast's leading telecommunications provider. I am very uncomfortable with this fact. Her job, ironically located on the East Coast, worked her harder in one year than most jobs worked people in a decade. This job paid well. Without it, my sister and I would have never gotten through college. I left school debt-free thanks to the back-breaking mental labor of my mother. You have mail. Oh, we're doing this. Spooky. At least it's not a fucking screamer. I can stand screamer. I'm a very anxious person, and screamers make me uncomfortable. So this is... This is a cutscene, right? Can I? Yeah, okay. 
There was a moment of apathy where I almost didn't click blink. The last thing he sent me that was allegedly scary turned out to be a picture of two elephants locked in the throes of passion. I sighed and clicked the link. The file was 2.9 megabytes. That would take... Oh no. I'm also from Tumblr. In the dark room, the monitor was hurting my eyes. I rubbed them and waited for the file to load. I thought of all the things it could be. More animal porn, human porn, cartoon porn. You can never really guess Three what megabytes, going. that would take, what, like an hour? Certainly going to be At least half an hour. Maybe a girl from my high school was now into adult videos and was doing some particularly unladylike things. Is that seriously? What your train of thought here is. While the video loaded, I thought of all the girls I had gone to school with who might be involved in such activities. Yeah, I get it. He's meant to be an asshole now, but the looks nor the motivation to seek out an adult filmmaker. I gave up. I just have to wait for it to finish downloading. Is that seriously where we are going with this? I waited with fading patience for my computer to open in quick time. Finally. That is not how quick time looks. That looks like Netscape. Yep. And this looks like the original Eliza Lam video. Intentionally. Fuck you. That wasn't a video file, that was a GIF! GIF? What? What did I just- Oh no! No, I'm saying GIF. It's GIF, not GIF. We're settling this question now. It's a GIF. Like a gift. And uh, how was that 3 megabytes? Are you... What? Immersion broken, 9 out of uh, 100. <sighs> on anonymous... On anonymous what? It's 1999. Fortune is from what? Like what? 2002? Certainly not 1999. Unattractive. You're calling Eliza Lam unattractive. Hi, booby lady. Hi. So, Stupid fucking is this what a college graduate does? Spend hundreds of thousands of his mother's hard-earned money to lounge around all day? It's already 2 p.m. Don't you think you should be getting out of bed? Just, uh, can you keep it down, please? I had a rough night. Can't get that video out of my head. Alex? Can I ask you a serious question? You have his imaginary, by the way. Early for serious if that doesn't work with me, I'm not your mommy. I don't let you get away with letting things slide. Okay, fine. Why didn't you go back and look for her after she vanished from the elevator? Why did you run straight home? If you had seen her being pulled out of the elevator, you'd have known she was gone for good, too. You're forgetting that I was there. You're scared, right? But... Maybe when you've busted up some courage, you can put on your big... Yeah, maybe. Now get yourself out of bed! Take a shower! It smelled terrible! I knew it was right. I couldn't let myself live with the guilt of not going back to look for her. Why did I run away? Why did I just stand there? 
her and let her get pulled into... into what exactly had she been pulled into? Just the thought of what if I didn't go back? I, I think there was a part of me that didn't believe what my eyes had seen. That I was missing something. Oh yeah, that was our uh, spoiler we guide. We are inside a room. We can tell from the decorations on the wall that it is a female's room. The unremarkable but adequate lighting reveals to us that there is someone in the room. Although who is not yet clear to us or the others in the room. The okay, expressionless decor and bedding show uninteresting taste. Although there are the staples of a bedroom, there is something inhuman about the layout and decorations. We get the impression that the room is a parody of a human woman's room. It's a With a quick bed. survey of the interior, our eyes come to rest on a figure unconsciously placed inside the bed. We know from her plastic finish that she is both unconscious from a lack of humanity inside of her vessel and unconscious from a lack I get of it. power She's a robot. going to her circuits. Jesus. The low electric This is not even Alex. I'm not the meant to think at a low level from a record player in the corner of the room. As we observe the motionless figure, we gradually come to sense that she isn't well, that she is broken in some way. We feel compelled to refer to the figure in the bed as a woman. However, her exposed circuitry holds our words. We bring the camera closer to her face and ponder what she is. Her face is lined with the most profound solemnance. We confer with each other and come to an agreement. Uh, what is this? Why am I should what should I care? Okay, so let's review. You met a girl in an old It was a hotel she vanishes within an hour of you meeting her. Now, with a new sense of bravery, you're running off to the lap. Exactly. Sounds good to me. I like this Alex with a sense of purpose. This is another one of those creepy calls. I've had this song stuck in my head. Uh -huh. Just go, 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 go. Did you ever get that? I think they call it an earworm or whatever. But this isn't really the taxi tea kind of song. This is that all sort of thing. It's pretty good, but some of the lyrics are a bit weird. How do they go again? I think you have the wrong number. Oh, sorry. Bleh. Now I don't care about your remember Brown. Can I climb him? No, I can't. Do these go back? Yes. Um, uh, no, they don't. So, I don't know. I feel bad for picking up all of them. Besides, I'm already rolling in dash and items. Um, let's see. I think there were a few areas I couldn't access before and we have um, some new traversal mechanics we can try out, and more so jazz to tolerate, grudgingly. What is our goal again? Fuck. Factory ho- What the fuck is a factory hotel? Okay, you guys are American and English and all around. Different people. What's a factory hotel? I have never, never heard of a factory hotel. Is it a hotel for factory workers? Is that a thing in America? Okay, um. No. Dali, I think, yep. And for zombies.
maybe that was what was intended? It's so weird. It's such a weird phrasing too. Because they just called factory. Like it's an abandoned factory, not an abandoned hotel. But it looks like an, a, a, a hotel. And functions like one too. What is this about? Yeah, I guess I'll give another 10 bucks to this guy. You want my 10 bucks? No, you don't. Okay. I think we respected this one before. God, I wish there was, was a wrong button. button. of him since before high school but I knew I must have seen him since then college makes you into a man I assume, I assume that's something. one of those places where you're not going to like him just took the SATs that's about it sounds intense how do you think you did I was on the edge of my seat the whole time but then I realized how uncomfortable it was to sit at the edge of my seat, so I sat normally. I'm not laughing because this is not funny. <laughs> what? Just a little joke. Anyway, you look good. Well, maybe a few pounds heavier. I'm guessing you didn't major in exercise science. Har har, very funny. Liberal arts. Great. What do you do with that? <laughs> uh, have any fun plans for the summer? Nothing really. I just already spent the day chasing a cat and exploring that old factory by the water tower. Oh wow, that sounds awesome! Hey, have you ever heard of urban exploration? There's this great website called www.onism1999.com. I think you'd really get a kick out of it. These guys break into old buildings and take photos. Usually the places they explore have some sort of urban legend behind them or a ghost story. Did you say Onism 1999? Someone sent me a video from there yesterday. What else do you know about that site? It's like a conspiracy theory support group. People from all over the world post about political conspiracies, local myths, stuff like that. You don't look so good, dude. It's something from that page. It's been screwing with my brain. What exactly did you see on there that has you so freaked out? It... I don't know if you saw it or not. <sighs> It was the one with the girl in the elevator? The one who gets lifted off the ground? That... That was supposed to be filmed locally. I couldn't bring myself to watch it, but all those sick bastards made the gif of her being thrown around like a rag doll. Poor girl. Yeah, because she was a real... Uh, an actual real person. In real life, this real life. After that went up, everyone on the forum started acting strange. Like a sort of darkness had come over the website. Uh, supposedly... Supposedly, the writer of the game was one of the people who was obsessed with Eliza Lamb and was very active in the community surrounding her and her death. So, this is meant so to be. This is sort of meant to be a reflection on um, the, exp uh, the experience he had with that community. I don't know what to think of it, to be honest. It was the first time something like that had been posted that people weren't immediately calling a fake. Something that would look a horror in the face. There's a sick part of people that want it to be real, you know? Yeah. Michael. There was part of me that wanted to tell Michael everything, but I couldn't bring myself to say it. 
there was something that felt personal, almost intimate about my meeting with Sam. He might be in danger, okay? Okay, I know I'm supposed to hate him, but it doesn't help that I hate him so much. My was for my thoughts only. But I needed to talk to someone about the situation. So I proceeded with caution. I went all over that factory yesterday. And I swear, the elevator in there was the same one as in the video. I know that sounds weird, but I really think that video was... Really? Okay, let's check it out then. What? Re yeah, why not? Do you mind if we run to the camera shop in Frankton, really? I was getting my camera repaired. If we go in, I'm gonna want to take pictures. Yeah, sure. Uh, that building isn't going anywhere anyway. Besides, the whole thing is probably a hoax. I checked the paper this morning and there wasn't a mention of a missing Frankton girl. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay. You know, uh, Frenchie, thanks. Thanks for mentioning that, Frenchie, because that just made me even more uncomfortable. Because... I'm a Tumblr user. No way! They opened up an arcade in Frankton? We were there yesterday. That's awesome! Wow! How long has this been? They opened it about three weeks ago. I've been waiting until they fixed my camera so I could get some great photos. Here they have a bunch of import games. Import games? Japan, mostly. Aren't, like, all games made in Japan? Well, at least the good ones are. Although there are some good RTSs on PC I've been playing lately, and I'm pretty sure those are made in the US. Yeah? I never got into those kind of games myself. Always been more of an RPG guy. You're still playing spooky music, you know? RPG games are seriously the best! Chrono Trigger, Lufia 2, Secret of Mana! Those games are like the holy grail of my youth! Holy fuck, how are you even allowed to mention that? I seriously don't think I'd be the person I am today if it wasn't but, for that. Uh, you can mention Chrono Trigger, Lufia, but not Backstreet Boys? What? Ever played Two Brothers? That's a sort of ARPG, although uh, its focus uh, really isn't on combat. Two Brothers? Nope. That's a terrible name. Sounds like a diner or a pizza place. Those guys really should work on their naming conventions. Oh, that's... Uh, that's another game by the same developer. Let's hit up the arcade really quick after we get your camera, and then head over to the factory. I just want to step in to smell that combination of grease and... Yeah, let's do that then. Really? Grease? Why are we still playing the creepy music? Make me uncomfortable. Bye, lol. Not to mention how many of them were taken away, but I still archived on um, archive.org. Okay, um, cookie dialogue from weird people in town. While the creepy music plays, that's not weird at all. Um, is that me or is there some kind of uncomfortable filter on now? Is that because we have a camera guy with us? Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, I better equip this guy.
and the music is back to kooky. So what was the point of that creepy music staying throughout all of that uncomfortable shit? Was there even a point? I don't know. Okay. Again, why do they have to... Okay, why do they have to censor... I have both of those. Why do they have to censor the names of the bands but not the names of the games? What? Um, uh, copyright laws make no sense whatsoever. Digital camera in 1999. Pretty much none of them were affordable. And uh, what? Hipster! Hipster as a term did not emerge until the late 2000s. That I am absolutely sure of. Go fuck yourself. 1999, my ass. Now, by the way, can I switch control to any of the other characters? No, I don't think so. Does it tell anywhere where what my experience is? I would really like a level up anytime soon. Why are you fucking my boss? What are you doing? Dialogue isn't even that fun. That's a problem in all by itself. Yeah? Is this supposed to be a gay joke? Classy? Yeah, I already did. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure that's from classic literature. Uh, again, 
Why you keep bringing politics into this? It's okay, okay. Let's just power through this. Boring stuff, boring stuff in the travel. No matter how many times you uh, you, 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 there is no slide. There is no slide. What sliding shit? No, why am I even asking questions? Yeah, cat in the face. Okay, so is that like a side quest? Do I need to talk to the third one? No. Okay, whatever. Sports. I think that's better than the paper bag. Okay, we'll buy that then. Yeah, that's better in every way imaginable. And why did you... Look, I am going to fill in more dumpers than I, if I ask more questions. This is so painful in the 90s. Hmm? Probably not. You don't have a time. the little things he make me even more annoyed. Is that a friend's own commentary? Huh? You made a whole area that does absolutely nothing. Arcades around. Is that 
that girl live in Frankton? She looks constipated. I don't think I've ever seen her before. I don't know. She's ancient anyway. Yeah. What? What do you think she is? Twenty six? What? I know. That's really not that much older. Whatever. You're ancient too. Let's come back here later. We should get to the factory. I see money on the phone. It's a shiny buck. Can I play anything? Why won't you let me play anything? Come on! You made a, a, a help? Location that I can explore and I can't even play anything? Come on! Just one game! Let me play one game! Please! No? You stop the bloody combat with pointless mini games that can program a mini game in an arcade. Commencing save is such a weird way to board it. Alright, let's go to the factory hotel. This will never not sound awkward. Yeah, the monster is born. So we need to get that XP. Let's kill you, huh? Okay. Oh, oh! Mesh buttons! <laughs> Does it seriously have one and two HP? The chick is not here anymore. Hey, it, it, it's you. None of you find it strange. Can I go back? Alright. Oh well. We saw something we never could have imagined. A being made of stars. That's the first strange thing you saw today, huh? The entire galaxy, no, the universe maybe, compressed into the silhouette of one entity. It hadn't noticed us at first. We were as insect but when provoked. It came after us. I've been scared before. Everyone has, but those past as if a black hole incarnate had come to exist and it wanted us. I couldn't say why I felt that way at the time, but I had known it was true. And with all this in mind, Sammy's vanishing was starting to feel like the least supernatural thing I would experience. Oh, you don't say. I 
arcade mini games oh sure Um, as the music is bad on purpose. Am I meant to lose this? Well, we couldn't damage it in any way, and I think dying wouldn't help us progress. So let's go the same way we did the first time. Mostly just confused right now. Oh, okay, I did something right. It, what the hell is going on? Well, what, what just happened? Oh, oh, you have, you have a normal reaction for once. I, what? Just, can you even believe? Oh man, dude, we need to develop this thing is digital, baby. Yeah. So what now? I'm gonna go with. Then that's it, that's chapter one. Which is where I'm probably going to end things for tonight. Once again, I had left the old factory, frightened and confused. And once again, I didn't have Sammy with me. Right, uh, so that was part one of my um, playthrough and commentary on um, this terrible, terrible game. I think we've all been um, thoroughly Thoroughly disturbed by the lack of tact of the developer. And I am going to puke. Not really. I think I'm just going to do something else. Uh, the combat rebalancing seems to work fine. <sighs> I just want to break from this. It's, it's enough for me. See you. See you another time. And thank you for being with me.